All right, y'all. Today, I'm going to teach y'all how to be a star player. Whenever you get caught standing around or asking any questions, always rub your stomach under your shirt. Don't ask me why. Now, let's go with your appearance. Start off with some Crocs or slides, shorts that always go above your knees. Tank tops is always valid. You got to show your muscles off, you feel me? And then you got to have your book bag on lazy. If you wear it too tight, you're going to look weird. Next step, always have some AirPods in so people think you're listening to something, even if you're not. This is a good way to ignore people as well. Next, we got the Hoopers Walk. You got to be as lazy as possible. If somebody says what's up to you, give them the head nod and keep it pushing. Next, we got the Hoopers Jog. Even if you're not hurt, act like your knees hurt, bro. Next up, we're going to go with a valid hairstyle. This includes dreads, the Sharif Cooper, and the Lamello Ball. Comb overs are also accepted. Next up, we're going to get into school. You do not need the books. You do not need the laptop. Get rid of all of that stuff. Coaches love kids with bad grades. Pick up your phone and put them AirPods in, man. Results may vary based on your average points per game. Next up, always show up to practice late without no shoes on in your jersey in a Superman position. It don't matter what time you show up to practice as long as you're nice. Coach may try to tell you to run, but you have authority over the whole team because you're getting buckets, so hit him with the... What? You run, you bugging out. Coaches love disrespectful players as long as you're getting buckets for the team. Yo, coach, stop talking like that if I really beat you up, bro. You're not like that. And I'm going to play anyways. You can talk whatever way you want if you're averaging 30 points a game. So now that you know how to be a star player, go out there and get him, my boy.